What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making this Hallow poster that I made a couple of weeks ago. A lot of you like this poster, a lot of you asked for a tutorial, so here it is, I'm bringing it to you guys. And yeah, that's about it guys, let's get straight into the video. We are starting with the, the background today, so we're just going to make a new solid colour. So we're just going to go down here and make a solid colour, and then we're going to pick this yellow. So this yellow is going to be F. 29F00. So I'll put that up on the screen so you guys can copy and follow along. But yeah, that's that's going to be the background color. Now, there's a lot of different things that go into this tutorial. Uh, images, textures and stuff. So we'll just be going for it step by step just so you guys can understand and follow along. Um, if any of you have any problems, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll answer them. I always do. I always look at the comments. Um, and yeah, so let's get straight into it. So once we have done this, the background, we're just going to get our text tool and we're going to go to impact font and we're going to just make a number nine so we make a number nine it's going to be quite big on the screen this will make sense once we um have sort of got through the tutorial but yeah we need to make it yellow so that it just stands out and then we're going to uh, change this to a hard mix so wherever that's gone mm, there it is hard mix right so obviously it looks a bit silly at the moment doesn't it so what we're going to do now is add a background texture over the top so we're going to get our triangle tool and we're just going to change the color to black and then what we're going to do is just basically pull out a triangle obviously um and then we're going to change this to black I don't know why it's gone to white and then what we're going to do is rotate it so it's on its side and then we're going to position it like that, along in the corner of the uh, the design. Now, if it's not snapping to your screen, so it's not like snapping into position, go to View and then click Snap, so it will snap into position, and then it will make life a lot easier for you. So basically, I'm just going to go down. I'm going to do this, make a nice little pattern on top of the design. Now, it doesn't matter if it goes off the screen because it it probably will go off the screen. And then we're just going to align them all, and then we're going to group them. Call this triangle. Now. We've got that done. Now what we need to do is duplicate this. So we're going to take Command J, Command T, and then we're going to flip horizontal. So now see the pattern's looking a bit more similar. So we're going to line them and make a nice little pattern. So there we go. There's our two triangles. Now we can group that together. Uh, triangle group, Command T. Now I've got a little pattern. Now I'm going to put these kind of off the screen, maybe a little bit like that. Then I'm going to duplicate this, drag across, and I'm going to do this again. Command J, drag it across, and there we go. There's our nice little pattern we've got. So what I'm going to do is bring the number nine above this, because otherwise it might just look a bit silly. And we turn this off for now. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it for the background. Now we need to drop some images in. So go to your texture pack, which will be a link in the description below. So just download that, and then you'll have these textures. Open your images up, and then we're just going to choose the Halland image at the bottom. This image is going to need to be a bit bigger than this, so it's going to need to be about probably about that big. Position them in the center. That looks good. Um, and yeah, we don't need to add any effects because I've already added the effects to him. But if you want to add effects, obviously you can add a uh, high pass or camera or filter to him just to make him look better. But yeah, moving on. Okay, guys, before we move uh, any f further forward, I'm just going to change the color of the background because it's just a bit too dark. So. I'm going to swap it to this color, which is going to be E3C948. So we're just going to do that. And that just basically makes it blend a little bit better. So now that we've got that, we can turn our number nine on. Now, obviously, it doesn't look great uh, at first glance. But what we're going to do is we're going to put in below the Halland image. And then we're going to duplicate this. So Command J, move this one above the Halland image, then reduce the fill to 0%. Now, once the fill's on 0%, what we're going to do is double click. We're going to click our stroke and change this to one and we're just going to have this over the top so we're going to command t both of these move him over a little bit maybe make it a little bit smaller so it's not too big and we're just going to basically have it so the stroke is coming over the design and then the fill is behind him so it just basically adds for a nice effect so we've got all that done now we're going to add in some type so we're going to add some type down here, and then we're going to add a texture to the background, which is going to make it look like a halftone effect. Uh, and yeah, that's about it, really. So let's move on to that. Okay, guys, so the Hallen type. Now, this is going to be probably uh, maybe a little bit hard to do for you guys. So we're just going to type out Hallen, and we're going to make this fairly big. So about that big. So it fills the screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the colors. Now, you can have it that dark orange that I picked before. Or we can pick another yellow. Uh, I'm gonna basically, uh, I think I might make it this yellow and then make it a little bit darker or a little bit richer, sorry. 
So maybe something like that might look good. We can leave it like that for now. Anyway, let's just add a drop shadow to it just so we can see it a little bit better. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna rasterize this. So if we right click and then go to rasterize type and then we're gonna go command T and then we're gonna go to perspective, or not perspective, sorry. We're gonna go to distort and we're just gonna sort of drag this down. Now this might look a bit weird to begin with. We're gonna drag that one out. We're gonna drag this one out. Now, as you can see, we are creating this nice sort of uh, pulled out effect. So if I just command T this now, just to make it a bit smaller so it's in the screen, as you can see, we've got that nice effect. So I'm gonna bring this down uh, and then I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna make it a little bit wider again, just so it looks more flat to the screen. It's a really nice effect to learn guys this. So if you can learn it, I really do advise to. Then we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So it's on the screen. Uh, we can make it a tiny bit smaller. This isn't gonna be identical to my first poster guys, but it's gonna be pretty close. So. We've got that done. Now we're gonna go Command J for this. So we've got two of them now. Now you can turn the drop shadow off for this one, reduce the fill, and we're gonna do a stroke. So we get a white stroke, and then with this, we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So it just adds that nice little effect over the top of the design. So it makes it look a bit uneven and a bit nice. So uh, yeah, we got that done. Now what we're gonna do is add in the Halland image on top of this. So we're gonna to go to our texture pack. We're gonna get this second image and we're gonna add this on. Now, this obviously looks a bit small, so you can make him a little bit bigger, but we're gonna make sure that he is uh, on top of this text. So something like that looks good. Now you can add a drop shadow to him again, just to make him look a bit more defined and make it easier to see him basically. Make a layer below him, new layer, and then we're gonna go to our brush tool and get a thin brush like this. So a soft brush, um, and you don't want to harden this up or anything, and we're gonna make a, choose a black color and then we're just gonna make a little little dot below him, so like that. And we can change this to multiply and reduce the opacity a little bit, and that's really nice. Now, just to just to make the shadow look a bit more like realistic, we can uh, basically duplicate this, and then we're gonna go Command T, flip horizontal, or not flip horizontal, flip vertical, sorry. So he's gonna be upside down, and then we're just gonna basically uh, we're gonna make him look as if it's like reflecting onto the floor. Now you can make it a little bit smaller or you can distort it. Um, it's completely up to you really. So if you go Command T, you can right click and distort so it's a bit flatter like that. And obviously you can uh, move in different areas. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, just play around with that. And then you can move in below this one obviously. And then we're just gonna go to uh, Hue Saturation. So this is gonna be Hue Saturation. Clip and mask it to it, lighten this all the way down. Black shadow, obviously. Um, and then we are going to reduce the opacity of this. And then we're gonna go to a filter. And then we're gonna go blur, motion blur. We don't need this too high, obviously. But we want it fairly high, just so it looks like it's got a little shadow going on, which looks really nice. I'm just gonna merge those two layers together. Obviously, we don't want it to take over the design, so we just want it near the bottom. So something like that, that looks good. And then it's a nice little leg shadow. Now, with different designs, you can get the shadow more prominent, but with this one, there's no point because it just won't look right. Now, we're gonna add a texture in now. So we're gonna go to our uh, texture bit in our texture pack, and we're gonna find a texture called Texture 01. And this is a halftone one. So we can bring this in, uh, drag and drop it in, Command T. And now we can make this real big and cover the whole design. But we are gonna move this so it is uh, probably below the Halland image, so somewhere around there. Now you can have it on the, the text here at the front as well, so we can just duplicate this and move it to the text, so like that. Or like, no, clip and mask it onto this one, so it has that same grainy effect as the background, but that looks really nice, so there's not really much to that. We're just gonna basically uh, add in some more text and a few more effects, and then we're all done, guys, so let's move on. A few moments later. Okay guys, so get our pavement texture. So this is gonna be the bottom one here. We're just gonna drag and drop this in. Now, Command T this. Obviously once your computer loads, that would be nice. Okay, put it in position. Put it in the center of the page, make it bigger. There we go. And we're just gonna change this to subtract and then we're gonna reduce the opacity down to about 30%. There we go. Now this won't look like it's done a lot, so we'll just forget about that for now. Um, and then we're gonna, basically, we're gonna move on to adding in some more text. So we're gonna go to our text tool. We're gonna type Halland. And then we're gonna change this to a white, obviously, otherwise I'm not gonna see it. So, got that there. Now we want this all in capitals, so. 
like that. And then we're going to get our rectangle tool, black rectangle, and we're just going to outline this whole thing. So make it bigger and move it below. Actually, we're going to change this to Dortmund. Sorry, I, I didn't realize what I'd put. Uh, so we're going to change that to Dortmund. We can make it a little bit smaller because we don't want it too big. And then we're going to reduce the size of this rectangle, obviously, because it won't look right. So make it a little bit smaller again like that and now we can position this by using our alignment tools at the top and then we're going to convert this to a smart object command t uh, we're going to move it like that and make it smaller something like that there we go we can have this below the texture so it has a, a nice little effect uh, so we move it down to here there we go nice little effect on the background so that's that done now what we need to do is add some game days down here so get our text tool again change it to white so it's already white game day Add a space there. Command T that, make it really small. Now you can zoom in for this just to make it a little bit easier for you to see. Make it a little bit bigger. So game day. Then we're just gonna alt, hold alt and just duplicate this. And again, we're just gonna use our alignment tools to get the right spacing between them in a minute. So let's just duplicate a load of these. Make sure you make enough to go off the screen. Hold shift, then right position them. Are they all on the screen? Yep, that looks good. Group those together. Game day. There we go, that's all done. Now we're just going to change this to probably something like overlay. That looks pretty good, I think, just so it's subtle and enough in the background. Um, but now we're just going to move on to another effect, which is going to be... Okay, guys, so now we're going to move on to another effect, which is going to be adding in this brown texture. So we're going to drag and drop this on top. Just make sure you position it in the center like I'm about to do. Um, and we're just going to make sure that we position it right. So this is going to be soft light. And I'm just going to reduce this down to about 70% so it's not too overpowering on the design. And then what we're going to do is get our next one, which is the grunge one. Drag and drop this on top again. Oh, no, not the brown paper. Why is it drag that? On the brown paper. Drag and drop that. Command T. Make sure it covers the whole page again. A lot of this, guys, is making up with textures. Obviously, I know that because I'm doing it. But uh, the main thing is that the textures do make it look better. So in the long run, even though it's like quite a simple process, the textures will make the designs look better. So make, that, make sure that you change that to color dodge, reduce it to 20% opacity. And I'm going to add our paper texture. One more. Da, da, da. Command T. And then we're just going to position this and change it to multiply. So now we've got a nice little paper texture on the background. We've got all our colors and everything done. We've got our strokes and everything done. We've got our game day, so it's all done. Basically now all we need to use is a camera or filter to bring this to life. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to that. I hope you're enjoying the video so far because it's a really nice poster design. I think you can use a lot of these techniques in your own designs. So yeah guys, let's move on to the camera or filter phase. Okay guys, so welcome to the camera or filter stage. Now this isn't going to take long, it's just going to be a basic sort of adding colour, so add a bit more yellow obviously because it's an, a yellow design. Uh, you can add some exposure and contrast just to make it a bit more crisp. Basically with the highlights and like shadows I sort of just play around with them myself. Texture, definitely increase that. Clarity you can. Uh, vibrance you can decrease a little bit if you want if you don't want it too too harsh or you can increase it it's completely up to you or you can just leave it as you want so we'll do something like that curves you can just mess around with just for the shadows sharpening yes you want sharpening color mixer now this is obviously just like you can reduce colors and stuff so red you can reduce just so it doesn't look like his body's like really like oversaturated effects you can reduce uh, increase to like 30 or about 20 no 20 10, 20 will be fine then add a nice vignette in the corners just to make it bit lighter but yeah guys that's pretty much it so there's not really too much to this design and um, once you like pick it apart like we have done just now and um, we can increase the yellows a bit but yeah it's it's pretty simple so hopefully you guys can uh, see the comparison to the uh, design I made previously and hopefully you've enjoyed the video um, been a, it's been a fun experience so it's a we haven't done a football poster in a while so I thought this was a good one to come back to um, and yeah let me know in the comments if you want to see more let me know what you what players you want to see let me know what styles of poster you want to see obviously follow the Instagram follow the Twitter subscribe for more tutorials there's always stuff going on on the channel and I'm just trying to grow it every single day so thank you for all the support guys and I'll see you in the next video